Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Let me check. Hello, everybody. That sounds better. Welcome to this video. It's different than the last video of mine you saw. Just barely. Not a lot, just a little bit. So today, we are going to do movie tie-in um, books for the unhaul that will be available on my eBay store momentarily. So let's get crack a lacking. So first, we have Jaws 2. Okay, and this looks like what does that say? Does that say? I can't tell what that says. It's really little. I thought it said Scholastic. Oh, it does. I can see it better on the screen. So this is um, the crappy Jaws painting where Jaws has, like, like lips for some reason. I don't know. Um, pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, is that something I could get off there? Oh, yeah, I just did it. So there we go. Um, looks good. Spine is perfect. Look at that. Um, I don't know if anyone has ever read this book before. Um, so there's Jaws 2. Then we have Legion. Um, the electrifying bestseller, the long-awaited sequel to The Exorcist from Pocket Books. And this has one of those cool die-cut covers. That it's like, oh, that's just some some very trustworthy, happy-looking priest. Oh, my God, no. It's a bunch of people freaking out. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. So the cover looks pretty good. This, there's a little bit of wear on the edges there. Back looks good. Um, let me see. Yeah, back looks good. There you go. So, yeah, but I love these goddamn die-cut covers, dude. Oh, pocket books. Nice. Then we have this, and I want to check when this was made. So this is first printing July 1968, but it's not the first printing of it. It's like the 36th or the 28th, whatever. But yeah, so here we go. 2001 A Space Odyssey by Arthur C. Clarke. Now, if you recall, um, this book here, it's kind of banged up on the top there. I don't really know what's going on, but this is a old ass book. Spine looks okay for the most part, but if you recall 2001 A Space Odyssey, even though it was written by Arthur C. Clarke, um, what's his name? How come I can't think of the guy's name who made the movie? Oh my God, my brain is melting. I could probably just look at here. Oh, Stanley Kubrick. There we go. Um, Stanley Kubrick had him write the script, and then the book was based off of the script. So, um, this is exactly what that is. And there you go. Next, this one is probably going to be the humdinger of the group, but um, it's not in the best shape at all. But Gremlins by Steven Spielberg. No, he didn't write it. And it's so funny, they don't even put who wrote it on here. Um, it has the three warnings on the back. Spine's a bit shit. Um, George Gipe, based on a screenplay written by Christopher Columbus. Nope, just Chris Columbus. Sorry about that. And this is um, first edition, 1984. Nice. Then this one. And this one was one I did not want to get rid of. But um, this is from Pinnacle Books. Visiting Hours. Now a major motion picture. A novel by Kent Rambo. This is a hospital. There is no cure, or in this hospital, there is no cure for murder. Um, now, this one I have, and there's a bit of, spine looks pretty good. 
like, I didn't want to get rid of this because, um, first printing 1982. This looks great for 1982, actually. Um, I was approached years ago to um, direct a remake of this. And um, probably the producer who approached me never actually had the rights for it. Um, so it ended up not happening. I think he was trying to get the rights and he thought that he would be able to put it together. And it never ended up happening, but I never wanted to get rid of that because I was always like, well, you know, like I have this like connection to the movie. I don't have connection to shit, but um, I was asked to maybe do something if a bunch of pieces fell into place. So whatever. Um, now, we have four books left and they're all um, together. And you might remember me doing um, book reviews of these on this channel. So first we have The Omen by David Seltzer. Looks okay, looks okay. We got some pictures in here too. A lot of these books have the little pictures on the inside. That's a really awesome painting of the little kid. Like you can't really tell on here, I don't think, but if you get really close, there's actually quite some detail in that face. And then we have Damien, the Omen 2. Um, it's funny because in Damien, the Omen 2, with eight page of film scenes. Let's see these eight pages. No. But Damien's not on the cover like he is on the first one. So there's that. And then we have The Omen, The Final Conflict. And, it, and this also has eight pages of pictures. And this conflict is so final that we have The Omen 4, Armageddon 2000, by Gordon McGill, author of Omen 3. Was Omen 3 the final conflict? Maybe the final conflict is after. Maybe I should figure this out real quick. Live. Okay, so this is 1982. And the final conflict is 1980. Yeah, so maybe this is The Omen 3. First printing, December 1980. Yeah. But this looks a lot better. Probably not read very much. Just like everything else. Diminishing Returns. The Law of Diminishing Returns. So yeah, there you have it, guys. A bunch of movie tie-in books. Or books based on movies. Or that were going to be movies. Or... Whatever. Anyway, so those are going up. And um, yeah, go over to my eBay store. Links in the description down below. And don't forget to hit the join button so you can get all sorts of other cool shit, including the upcoming Poetic Anarchy course, which you will be hearing about a lot more in great detail soon. So I will talk to you guys later.